Okay guys, so uh, getting up my uh, favorite hill and cross and I'm gonna make you a short review still without all kinky uh, after work. So first uh, I'm gonna make a nice cup of, not coffee today, but tea because uh, two weeks ago I got, <coughs> <coughs> well you may, may hear, <coughs> I got a bad bad cold uh, just because I wasn't careful enough and well I treat that but it got um, uh, like uh, bronchitis so now I have to treat bit that and be more careful so I, I'm gonna put my jacket just after that <coughs> Vargo, uh, sorry, Vargo Titanium Sierra Cup. Gayot Design Water Bottle, the standard size. And my uh, Tatanka uh, Steel, Stainless Steel Cup. And as you see, this is uh, an Optimus, uh, Optimus Crooks. And all this gear is packed inside a Black Hawk water bottle pouch, uh, which has microbyte from Gaiot Design, uh, uh, sterling silver, silver sterling no sterling sharpener to sharpen my knife with two carbide um, pieces uh, aluminium whistle and uh, fire steel Okay guys, so uh, I told you before I was uh, really easily a bit sweaty when I walk uh, too hard and this is the case as, as always. Uh, so I'm gonna put my jacket and begin my review before it's too late and there's no more sun, uh, sunlight because the sun is already gone by now. So, uh, today I'm gonna make a review of um, a jacket, you've seen me with that uh, jacket maybe on a video uh, a few days ago, or maybe it's not even posted yet on the tube, but this is uh, an SAS smock made by a Swiss firm which is called Steinbrücke, uh, which means stone bridge. And this is an outstanding jacket. Uh, I've tried several jackets like that. I'm pretty fan of uh, British SAS and well, Austri Australian SAS too. Uh, and they have a pretty nice smock. Uh, I have one from Arctis and I like it really a lot. But this one is uh, well, it goes a step further, and it's really, really a good quality one. So. It's a part of the, I don't know if you can see that, but it's a part of the dagger, dagger line, 
series and it's made by uh, the guys from a nice tactical shop in Switzerland which is called Point Break and they <coughs> they are they are all <coughs> pretty good uh, tactical instructors and they know what they do so this is why this vest and this jacket is amazing so let's go through the front face uh, no first thing as you may see this is a kind of water repellent water um, uh, waterproof uh, layer of text don't remember the kind of text but it's um, it's water resistant and uh, it's uh, it's a bit like Gore-Tex. It's uh, it's the same indeed. <coughs> so first uh, on the front face, you can see here two large pockets, uh, like on the British SAS uh, smock. But inside, they've added a nice feature, which is two pockets. I think they would be great for uh, clips, mags, or any kind of stuff you want to put inside. You have two jack two pockets like that on the front. You have a line to tighten the jacket uh, under the butt. You have also another line uh, cord here uh, around the waist. And you have all the kind of buttons that are used on uh, British stuff, which are really, really tough. I really like these. Uh, you have, well, a wind flap with Velcro uh, and those buttons and a zipper all the way to the neck. You have a nice uh, patch flap on the, the wind flap. Two higher pockets and <coughs> they don't have any, any separations inside but you have a nice uh, clip uh, loop for your sunglasses you have two uh, vertical horizontal pockets here you have also two pockets behind the, the first uh, two pockets for uh, easy access to your gear one inside pocket here uh, well it's on the other side well here you have an inside pocket and something pretty cool they've added here I haven't brought my Moly tactical light by but you can see here you have hooks and loops for patches like that and you have behind uh, Cordura or something uh, some text like that to protect from uh, abrasion you also uh, do have Moly attachment here which is pretty nice for uh, your tactical lamps or to add any kind of pocket you want. You have that on both sides. Uh, flaps for patches on the shoulders and a nice hood with um, a cord and cinch cord and here uh, a piece of metal or something like that to uh, give the shape of the hood you want. So now on the sides here you have a nice opening so that you can grab the gear in your pockets grab uh, a gun if you have a, a waist holster and it's pretty pretty well uh, thought of course under the armpits you have two uh, zippers on each side so if you sweat a lot it's not a problem you can cinch the cuffs you have reinforcement behind the, um, the elbows and you can open them here to add inside a piece of foam uh, velcro tab on the shoulders on both sides and on the right side you have a nice little pocket on the inside of the arm on the other side <coughs> you have one map pouch that you can remove also fixed with velcro so you can have uh, easy access to sh a small map and a shoulder uh, pockets on this side now the back <coughs> sorry for having a, a runny no nose 
the back well you have a simple way to uh, set the hood as you want and as you need it to be and of course uh, what is really really great about uh, this jacket as you may see you have a Cordura um, kind of Cordura webbing um, that looks really really tough really thick and you can put all your moly gear you want uh, easily on the vest directly not uh, you don't, don't need a spe special jacket or a vest or stuff like that you just have everything you need um, at hand like clip pouches butt packs uh, and with the shape of the jacket it, it's really amazing because it holds well you don't have all the jacket that goes uh, you know um, that pulls uh, down on the back it's really really well thought now I'm gonna put the jacket on so you can have an overall look because the last thing I want to say is that maybe the shoulders uh, do not seem really wide so for wider guys like me uh, on the shoulders it could be a problem but it's not because they have amazingly wide uh, sleeves with uh, such a, a shape that you can really if you are in a tactical environment grab a gun pull your arms uh, forward with uh, a weapon or just if you have you have uh, moves that you need to do in tactical or not tactical situation you are you really feel uh, a kind of uh, freedom using this jacket so now for you to see that I'm gonna put it on Okay. As you may see here, you don't have any problem if you have you are in a tactical situation. You can really feel a, a huge freedom of movement. So uh, I must say this jacket is just really amazing. I really like uh, how how you can uh, wear it. It's um, it's um, a nice um, nicely thought. It's really well thought. It's practical, well made, tough. And the price uh, the price is not uh, oversized to the quality it's good quality for a really acceptable price it's something like two two hundred uh, dollars for um, compared to other jacket of that kind it's um, it's a really really nice price and they really put a lot uh, inside this uh, this jacket so if you if you see them uh, live you will know what I mean by that um, you can of course, uh, I think ordered them on the website because I don't think they sell it internationally for now. Um, the guy told me it's not yet on the website or I'm not sure but um, you just better go check on uh, the website. I'm gonna write it right here. Uh, it's www.e-pointbreak.com or .ch. I have a doubt you can try both I think it's .com um, and they are really nice guys they know what they do uh, and how to do it to do it well and I think for any guy that is interested in uh, outdoors and stuff like that or tactical stuff it's uh, a good investment so guys thanks for watching and see you soon hope you liked it bye bye cheers